<laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to our uh, continuing um, interview series with the amazing women who are going to be speakers at the SQL Bits conference that's going to happen in Wales um, between March 14th to 18th, 2023. Um, it is one of the great conferences uh, for people in the data world uh, for anything related to SQL kind of stuff. So I hope you get to attend. Um, today's interview is going to be with Pamela Patterson. We are going to be talking to her on her talk, Elicit and Collaborate Like a Pro, Top Tips from an Expert. Um, and the timing here is, is on Eastern time. That's how Session Eyes tends to display uh, timings on the schedule. So whatever it is, uh, if you're attending virtually, you may want to look up um, what time it is for you. And if you are going to be on site, then uh, you would have to do, you know, look it up uh, there too. So uh, it's going to be on Thursday, March the 16th. And she is going to be there in person. Right, Pamela? Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, cool. So our sponsor for today is SQL Taylor Consulting. Uh, Joe Fleming, who runs this consulting business, donates $20 to Girls Who Code for every guest we interview. And he is also a good person to reach out to for your remote DBA needs. Thank you, Joe, for your sponsorship. Um, let's get started. Tell us something about yourself. Well, I am a senior business analyst consultant. I wrote several books ranging from the science of ant communication, so chemistry-based communication, to project management, to requirements um, to HR. Two of them were international bestsellers. The um, ant one? Was the ant one an international bestseller? That sounds so cool. I, I wish it was because I personally love ants. Uh, <laughs> you know, the ant hills and how they cooperate. They're they're very good team-based little critters. Yes, um, the leaf cutter I, ants. Yeah. Leaf cutter ants are amazing. A hundred percent. They have like they, highways that you can see in the ground. It's they're super cool. <laughs> I'm sorry that one wasn't a bestseller. So there's actually a, there's actually a story about ants um, where I'm from the, in the olden days when when the medicine was not much advanced. The way they used to sew cuts when people had an open cut oh. to throw a bunch of ants on them so the ants would work together and create stitches between the two edges. So Amazing. when they did, right? That's how that's how they they when they didn't have actual surgery going on. They are super Amazing. smart creatures. Yeah, that's right, awesome. enough about ants. <laughs> <laughs> enough about ants. Well, in my personal life, I do a lot of hiking, camping, and I ride motorcycles. And where do you live? I live in Kingston, Ontario, Canada, which is oh. just across the border from New York State. Oh, cool! Very nice. Are you Canadian? Yes, I am. Okay. Because <laughs> you could just live there. You never know. <laughs> this is true. <sighs> so you're going to talk to us about collaboration at SQL Bits. I am. So Tell us a little bit about that. Sure. So, you know, often there's a real emphasis on the technical skills of IT people. I've worked in IT for 25 years and the technical skills, we all try to get the tools and and make sure that we're up on our technical and coding and all that. But when it comes down to actual success on the job, it's all about collaboration. It's all mm -hmm. about elicitation mm -hmm. and collaboration and how we can work with other people and how we can influence and motivate other people to help us and make it easier for them to help us and making our communication kind of lean Six Sigma, our own communication, so that we are being very efficient and we don't lose their interest. And what kind of people would be interested in attending this session? Managers, employees, everybody? Just anyone or is it targeted to some specific group of people? Anybody who works with people. Which is all of us. Might be all Have of you us. ever seen that Neutrogena <laughs> commercial for people with skin? <laughs> I've not. People without people without skin probably don't need Neutrogena. <laughs> 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 so, like you said, people that work with people. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Have you been to Bits before? I have not, and it's actually I've never been to Wales before. It's been on my list for a long time, so I'm really excited. Me too. Oh, nice. 
What what's your costume going to be? Oh, maybe something Canadian. Maybe I'll wear a moose head. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Do you have any special plans while you're in Wales, like sightseeing or things that you are going to go do? Well, I've heard Cardiff is very pretty. And so I might do some hiking along the coast as well. Nice. Yeah. Do you have any recommendations? No, it's my first time in Wales as well. Oh, also a bucket list for me. I'm super excited. Exciting. And where are you, where are you both based? I am in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Oh, nice. American Southwest. Out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Both yeah. There's lots of hiking in both of these places. So if you ever yeah. make it down this way, feel yes. free. Yes. Well, we, have lots of sun too. we don't have much of a winter. That's why I moved here. So <laughs> <laughs> we're not quite Florida. I like we get, um, you know, it's not that warm, but it's warm enough for me. <laughs> not oh. much, not much of cold weather here. Today, it's about 40 degrees, which is about the average for us for winter. It doesn't get below that much. That's lovely. If you can stay above zero. <laughs> have you presented this session elsewhere? I have. Okay. So I've presented bits and parts of it over the last couple of years, especially during the pandemic. I was able to do a lot of presenting. I presented to over... 40 conferences and um, events around the world. And so elicitation and collaboration has always been a part of the events that I've presented at. Um, and this one in particular is going to be, some parts of it are going to be absolutely new for bits. Oh, nice. Oh, how nice. Well, I'm excited to see, I, <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> Anything else fun I'm going to try and go to all the women's <laughs> sessions if I can. Hopefully there aren't any other women at your time slot. Anything else fun about yourself that you'd like the audience to know? Well, hmm, that's a good question. I I don't, not off the top of my head. I mean, I, I'm that's excited fine, to meet everybody. I didn't mean to put you in a spot or anything. Just What's you know. the coolest <laughs> place you've been hiking? Yeah. Oh, the coolest place I've been hiking. It has to be Newfoundland, Canada. Ooh. So Newfoundland, Canada has the most amazing vistas and cliffs. And of course, it's it's along the ocean, like Wales and England. Uh, but the interesting part about Newfoundland is there's no predators, really. You know, there's no bears like we find elsewhere in Canada, no grizzlies, no polar bears. And so it's really a lovely place to hike in the middle of nowhere and to not be that far from home. Cool. Canada is a beautiful country, that's for sure. Yeah, it's just cold. It is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, Southwest. It's actually quite chilly today. It's not even above freezing yet this morning. It's kind of cold today, but it's usually much warmer. Mm. Oh, I love the desert landscapes. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yes, I'm. Everything I'm excited for for so Wales. Good. My fourth great grandfather immigrated to America from there, and so there's a little village in the the western part of the country that I'm sure all the English people are going to. You're going to drive three hours. I'm like three hours is nothing. I, yes, I'm going to drive. If I'm going to come all the way to Wales, I'm going to drive another three <laughs> hours to get to my little village. <laughs> oh, that's so, exciting. That, that's that's my my bucket list item there is to go check out. I, I, I don't know how to even pronounce the little village name. <laughs> yeah, the well the Welsh names are kind of hard for me too. Yes. When I get there, I'm gonna ask somebody, how do you say this? And then I will know. <laughs> record, record. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so well, I can't wait to meet you in person. We're gonna have lots of fun. Yes. It's going to be awesome. There's a great lineup. And I mean, it's a terrific location and a really nice time, you know, to spend time outside hiking and doing whatever. So it's it's going to be a great event. I, I really am looking forward and I'm excited to attend and, and speak, of course. I hope to meet a lot of people. Yes, I, I can't wait to meet a lot of new people, too. So can't wait to see you there. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Oh, well, have, thank you. Have a great rest of the day. You too. Okay, Bye. take care. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.